As you may have noticed, uh, the root of all of the problems in this world come from broken family relationships. Parent-child relationships are broken. Husband-wife relationships are broken. Sibling relationships are broken. We need healing. We need change. We need to start there to build a better society. To reconcile these divisions, we will cross the bridge in three categories. I'm going to turn it over to Sarah to explain these categories. Sarah? As uh, Catherine explained, we are all here to represent one human family. And I know you all know that within the human family, there are many different kinds of relationships. So we will be rediscovering the relationships between parent and child. The relationship of parent and child is one of the greatest sources of joy, but also one of the deepest sources of pain in our lives. And it's where we draw our identity from. So I hope that you can discover, rediscover the parental relationship here by uh, observing our sisters crossing the bridge and Another kind of relationship in the human family is the conjugal relationship between husband and wife. So in this relationship, it's actually a relationship of choice. So I'm hoping that tonight, you can make the choice to rediscover the relationship with your own husband or wife. And finally, last but not least, is the sibling relationship. And I, I just want to ask the audience, how many of you have siblings? Just about everyone. <laughs> but for those of you who may not, maybe you grew up as an only child, actually, we all know that everyone in our lives is actually our, like our brother or sister. So in reality, we all have siblings and we encounter them every single day. So there are siblings that we encounter in our lives that maybe we might have conflict with on a more internal level, and by that I mean a more social or emotional level, and um, these can be, for, for an example, uh, this can be with between religions, such as Christian and Muslims, or it can be between races, such as Caucasian and African American, or Native American on Caucasian, or it can even be between people of the same race, um, but or of different nations, for example, African and African American, or it can even be between generations, such as between elder and younger. Also, we may have conflict between, with, our, with our sisters in an external way, and by that I mean a more political or social conflict. For example, the conflict between church and state or the conflict between religion and science, or perhaps the conflict between nations, such as Japan and Korea, or Japan and the Philippines. And those are the exact conflicts that we will resolve here tonight on the Bridge of Peace. So, with, um, so I'm just gonna turn it over to Catherine, and she'll talk a little bit more about it. <laughs> we ourselves actually have really I feel like we've crossed the bridge. We have. Because we through all this have. craziness <laughs> of preparing for this event, I feel like we've become friends, even this short amount of time. <laughs> exactly. No question about that, Sarah. Yes. <laughs> so what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? Okay. So, this is where we get to entertain you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> where we... Uh, so Catherine, you, do you want to explain the process of crossing the bridge? Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a okay. good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Um... <laughs> so people will be coming to both sides of the bridge and each of them will be representing a different aspect, um, as she was just speaking about, 
Um, for example, different religions, um, church and state, uh, different nations, different races. And they will stand each one at the different side of the bridge. And then they will take a few steps towards each other. And then they will bow. And as they bow, that bow is asking for forgiveness, is asking, is repenting for all of the things that that person's ancestors may have done on their own level, but also representing the ancestors of all of the people of either their race, their country, their nation. So as they bow, this is a very deep and meaningful bow. Then they will walk towards each other and embrace. And that embrace is signifying that each one accepts and forgives and is ready to become a sister, a brother, a friend, and begin a new relationship to heal all the things that may have happened in the past. And then they raise their arms and come forward in victory to overcome these these um, divisions that have plagued them in their lives and to begin new, that friendship. So, so any moment now we're going to have an example for you. They're going to just show you exactly what we're talking about, the process of the bridge crossing. So while they're preparing, Eric will sing us a song. Please welcome Eric Gomez. Hope you guys enjoy this song. It's actually really, really um, passionate and sentimental. And I think it's a perfect song for this bridge to reunite everybody, soul and mind. Hope you enjoy this song as I always do.
Raise me up to more than I can be.
Thank you.